hey welcome back to the video 3 this is the SDK push so remember in the first video what we had done we had generated the access token so remember that I stated that you need to have an access token in order to call any API request so what you're going to do we're going to do an M-Pesa SDK push this is an this is a mode of payment of M-Pesa Direct API where you all when you request any payment you receive an SDK push on your phone in order to complete the payment so here in our API it's called the M-Pesa Express so M-Pesa Express has a stimulate stimulate the stimulate meaning that you want to request for the payment and query query is to check if the transaction has been successfully sent or it has been cancelled or what so in this video we're going to do the mpesa express and we're going to stimulate which means we're going to create a an sdk push so when you click here here you will see the documentation on what sdk in order what you need in order to do an sdk push so in my project here i've created the sdk file and encoded the all the requirement that you need to to carry out an sdk push so first we are going to do what we are going to do we need to include this access token access token file here when you come here let's close this here let's me copy this so that i cannot mess with the spelling and come to the sdk push here the one two include the mm, access token file so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to do include access token file so here so that here when I include the access token it means this access token here it's what I'm going to use here here so that when I carry the SDK push I'm going to get the access token from the access file so that I can include it on my other on my other request so here let's come here I need to get the process request URL which the process request URL we're going to get it here remember when you click APIs then you click stimulate then you'll get this link so come here then paste it here then the callback now the callback the funny thing about the callback url this is a url that you are that will receive a json response after every successful payment or failed payment or do but the funny thing about it you need to have a live link so that you can test it you can test it so that it can depo it can it you can test it to for production purposes but even in local development you need to have a you need to have a server so what i'm going to do i'm going to do use our server let me log into this my the server that i have let it load then i will log in what i always use is host pinnacle then you can click here yeah this is where you're going to do then i'm going to click my services and I'm going to click my, my my service here. Then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a to enter into my file. Oops, here. And I'm going to the public folder. This is where I'm going to create my I'm going to create a folder called um, let me name it as my D Raja, mm, let me name yes, Raja app. We copy it and create the folder. Then let me enter my Raja app Then create a file. Let's name the file as callback. Callback. Now, here I'm going to include my Mesquia software link. Here, I'm going to include this, and I'm going to 
point direct to where I, it, I need it to, do, to show. So here, then it's the Raja. Rename, see. Then inside here, then I'm going to paste it as here, then slash, then call back edit, not edit, rename, rename, then cancel, then come here, then I'm going to paste it to the callback. So this is where it will send the JSON response after every cancel or or failed or nini it will send all the transaction there so this i'm going to get the pass key the pass key you always need it when you want to carry out an sdk push so in order to get a sandbox pass key we'll need to come here to your apis then stimulate then here you can choose the app then you can click here this is where you'll get your pass key now let's come here then paste it here then i'm I will need a business short code this is the pesas short code you can use your pay bill but in for sandbox purposes you'll use this one which is provided here then you can copy that then paste it here after that then you will this is where you'll get the password you'll use the byte code so this is where you are going to uh, what's, what is it called something like encrypting encrypting the encrypting encrypting data to get password now after that you're going to use your phone number for testing purposes and i'm going to use my number 07 254 7681680060 then I'm going to use one shillings then account reference is like the account number I'm going to use Omeskia softwares then this is the description let's say let me say uh, let me say um, SDK push test then this is where i will this is where you include the initiate url not the initiate url will include the process request url then this is where you initiate the call initiating call then after that i've already done everything so we're going to test our on our API so here let me see if I've included everything let me come here and reload to test it SDK push on our local server mm, here it is this is the access token link you know. oh, sorry for that dot PHP uh, not PHP so here we have found some error PHP this is the php we have undefined variable in line 11 so let's debug it on line 11 which is the pass key what have i done oh i've used the capital letter here then let's reload then the second undefined stk header on line 24 with the line 24 line 24 line 24 head so it means this i'm going to replace it with this then the call request option let's test it uh -huh. so the callback variable which is the callback variable this one here where's the callback i include it here now this is the callback variable now let's test it after a while i'm going to get this so we haven't echoed the call response let's echo so that we can check what is happening if it is successful or it has been cancelled so let me test 
I'm going to put my phone so that you can taste so unable to unlock this um, oh so the first request that we had done it was successful that's why it's saying this so let me do this let me wait for a while so this is echo the response now let me do this let me test it again Now this it has said much and successful the construction ID and as you can see in our um, phone which I've, I will paste it here we have gotten a successful SDK response we want to pay to one shillings to the Raja sandbox account to in this case so what I'm going to do I'm going to put my pin then uh, we'll come here let's check let's check let's check on our callback URL. remember that this is where our transaction will always appear so there is our message now let me do this my where did we put the callback here as you can see let's edit uh, we haven't gotten the callback why let me see callback the raja app software raja so what i've done i need to create a callback this is what call back dot p hp then the callback this is where i'm going to create my i'm going to receive the data from callback php so that we can send it to our so callback sorry for that callback 